Two-time Academy Award winner Denzel Washington has been one of Hollywood's hottest leading men for almost three decades. Now he is back in theaters, starring in the post-apocalyptic thriller, The Book of Eli. Well, what was it like? People had more than they needed. We had no idea what was precious, what wasn't. <laughs> we threw away things people kill each other for now. And Denzel Washington is with us. Good morning, congratulations. Good morning. Three decades. I couldn't, I tried so to I stretch it out. I started when I was nine. I tried to stretch it out. I was, as I was six and a half when I started. Uh-huh. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thank good. You, so. you look well. And I've very much enjoyed uh, seeing this movie. Thank you. And I thought to myself, if somebody had in, in sent me an engraved invitation to the post-apocalyptic world, and they said you could take one person with you, I think it might be you. Or, you, or Eli. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not, don't, don't take me. Take Eli. Okay. And take some water, too. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you give me just a sense? So this is post-apocalypse. We don't even really know what happened. Mm -hmm. But it's just... Bad. It's bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, finding an item like a little bottle of shampoo or a, a Kentucky Fried Chicken wet nap was uh, was major. You know. And in this story, you're a guy who is carrying the last known copy of the Bible. Right. And the last time we talked, one of the things we talked about was this woman in your church who. Oh what right. Is she, what is prophecy? She, yeah. 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 And I thought, oh my lord, yeah. here he is on the screen yeah. fulfilling the prophecy of the woman from the church from 40 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Well, I'm not preaching, but I... Yeah. 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 You yeah. are a carrier of the word. I'm a carrier word. of the word. That's yeah. right. I hear, hear voices, and uh, it's, it's a battle of good and evil. Uh, Carnegie was played brilliantly by uh, Gary Oldman. Kicks. He's good. But he, he's good, <laughs> yes. man. He is good. So he wants the book, obviously, to manipulate. He has a whole town, and nah. he wants to manipulate the people, and nah. he finds out I have it. And you use the word to do it. Yeah. Uh, who was the most instrumental in suggesting you make this movie? My, my son. Yeah. My, he's a co-producer. And, uh, you know, I, I was really interested in the, in the story, but he stayed on top of it, and he was doing notes, and he was talking to me about it. He says, Dad, you, you know, you, you never... He, he, he talked me into Training Day and American Gangster. So uh, <laughs> I'm listening to him. I guess so. I'm listening to him. What does he got? What does he know then? That he's, does he just know you well, that well? He knows movies. My kids watch 50 times more movies than I do. They yeah. see everything. Yeah. They're movie buffs. Right. And as Alan Hughes, the, 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 one of the directors, said, you know, your son is, is as keen as any producer, yet he still feels like a thinks like a 12-year-old audience member, right. which is what you want. He yeah. hasn't become He's jaded. got the hunger. He's got yeah. the hunger or exactly. somebody wants to see something. But at the same time, here you are in the midst of all of this. This is this great performance. You're working with your son, your executive producer, and I'm reading why you don't want to make movies anymore. True? Really? Ever? Well, I got bills to pay, man. <laughs> no, they're not, they're not ever. I'm get, well, I'm, 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 Ex I'm getting ready to do, in, in March, I start rehearsals on the play Fences yeah. right here on Broadway. Yeah. And I started off in the theater. I started off right, right up the block here at Fordham, at Lincoln Center. Right. And that's what I always wanted to do. Now that all the kids are out of the house, our, our babies are now freshmen in college. And right. Everybody's, you know, away. And uh, we, we bought a place here. Mm -hmm. Now we now I can get back to what I want to do. I can see your house. You can see my place of man's <laughs> That's right there. That's right. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Uh... Fences, though. I mean, if you're going to pick a play and come back, I remember seeing James Earl Jones right, in 1987. Right. 87. August Wilson, you were like this. Right, you were like, right, the, right. You are seeing as prime a piece of right. theatrical real estate as possible. We're going to have a short run, about a 14-week run mm -hmm. on Broadway. All right, we'll come see you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for stopping by this morning. My pleasure. I do appreciate it.